Besides being two players already widely recognized in world football today, Spain's Lamin Yamal and Brazil's Rodrigo are two players who promise to continue making a name for themselves in the sport. But looking at each of them, have you ever stopped to think which one is the best today? In this video, you'll see an electrifying battle between Lamana Yamal and Rodrigo. It's clear that both players are very skillful, but which one has the best passing ability? Lamin Yamal, for example, is revered for his passing genius and precision. His passes are executed with a perfect combination of strength and subtlety, capable of dismantling the most solid defenses. He anticipates movements, reads the game quickly and makes decisions calmly, even in moments of high pressure from the opposition. According to La Liga 2022-23 statistics, Yamal has made 161 passes in seven games with an accuracy of 79.86%, which gives him an average of 23 passes per game. Rodrigo, for his part, is an exceptional player when it comes to delivering short passes with excellent accuracy. He's a player who takes part in the construction of moves, making precise passes while continuing to move. The Brazilian is versatile when it comes to passing the ball, able to surprise opponents with his creative passes. Based on data from the Champions League 2023, Rodrigo made three 15 passes in 12 games with an accuracy of 88.5%, an average of 26 passes per game with good accuracy. Rodrigo does better in this category, so points to him. In terms of physical endurance, both players stand out, but which of them is the most resilient? Lamin Yamal, for example, excellent physical stamina and his ability to maintain an intense pace throughout the match. He is tireless in his movement around the pitch, managing to cover great distances throughout the game, remaining active and influential until the final whistle. According to UEFA Euro 2024 statistics, the player covered 55.3 kilometers in seven matches, which represents an average of 7.43 kilometers per game. Rodrigo, on the other hand, is a player with good physical stamina, capable of maintaining a high level of energy and intensity throughout matches. His stamina is fundamental to his dynamic style of play, which allows him to take an active part in his team's actions. Based on statistics from the 2023 Champions League, Rodrigo traveled around 103 kilometers in 12 games, which represents an average of 8.6 kilometers per game. As Rodrigo reaches a greater average distance in matches, points to him. Both players are recognized for their agility on the pitch, but who achieves the most speed? Lamini Amal, for example, possesses impressive speed combined with agility, which allows him to change direction and maintain control of the ball at high speed. According to UEFA 2024 statistics, Yamal reached a top speed of 33.3 km per hour. Rodrigo, on the other hand, is well known for his great speed and agility, which make him an effective player in a variety of situations on the pitch. The Brazilian star has exceptional acceleration. Being able to reach his top speed in a matter of seconds, his ability to move quickly around the pitch makes him a major threat to opposing defenses. According to Champions League 2023 statistics, Rodrigo reached a top speed of 34 km per game, a good figure for any footballer. And for reaching a slightly higher speed, Rodrigo wins another one. Strength in terms of fitness, both players are young and have gained notoriety for their performances. Rodrigo, for example, is a player with an average physique, standing at 5 feet 7 inches tall and weighing around 141 pounds. His slight physique can make his mobility on the pitch much easier, but it also makes him a weak player when it comes to physical contact. Although strength isn't a feature of his game, he tries to make up for it with his agility and speed. Lamin Yamal, meanwhile, doesn't stand out for his physical strength, standing at 5 feet 10 inches tall and weighing around 158 pounds. Despite not being particularly robust, the Spaniard makes up for his lack of physical strength with his ability to read the game. As the two players don't have significant differences in physique, we'll consider it a draw. Both stars are known for their creativity, but which one stands out when it comes to dribbling? 
Rodrigo, for example, has dribbling as one of his standout skills, leaving opponents behind with his refined technique. The Brazilian has a wide variety of dribbles in his repertoire, with extremely technical and creative moves. One of his most used dribbles is the nutmeg, a technique in which he passes the ball between his opponent's legs, surprising them and leaving them surprised and confused. Another dribble Rodrigo uses is the kick fake, in which he pretends to kick the ball but quickly changes direction. Lamine Yamal, for his part, is also very good at dribbling. He is known for showing his precision by using the cut inside dribble a lot, setting off at speed down the sideline and then making a quick cut inside Yamal manages to keep possession of the ball even in situations of extreme pressure, using his agility and vision to outpace his opponents. As Lamine has shown that he can dribble more consistently and has won the public's favor, then points to him. Both players are notably collaborative on the pitch, but who has the better ability to provide assists? Rodrigo, for example, is a young striker who has good passing accuracy, which often results in good assists for his team. He has a good vision of the game and a rapport with his team, quickly identifying the best passing options and also the movements of his teammates. According to some sources specializing in football, it is estimated that Rodrigo has already made 39 assists in 289 official games, an average of just 14 assists per 100 games. Lamine Yamal, for his part, is consistent in creating goal-scoring opportunities for his teammates. The player is well known for his exceptional vision and his ability to distribute decisive passes, which has contributed significantly to his team's success. Throughout his career, Yamal has registered 9 assists in 60 official matches, which represents an average of 15 assists every 100 games. As Lamine Yamal has a better record of providing assists, points to him. It's clear that both players are good at scoring, but which one has the better goal conversion rate? Rodrigo, for example, is a very talented and versatile young striker with the ability to score goals in a variety of ways. He has good shot accuracy from medium and long distances, which allows him to score beautiful goals even from outside the box. The Brazilian is also capable of scoring goals with his head, despite his relatively short stature. Free kicks are another area in which Rodrigo excels, and he has already made his mark with a few goals in this way. According to statistics from specialized football sources, it is estimated that Rodrigo has already scored 64 goals in 289 games, which represents an average of 22 goals every 100 games. Lamine Yamal, on the other hand, is revered for his creativity and precision in his finishing. His shots are executed with a perfect combination of power and placement, capable of breaking down defenses and surprising goalkeepers. He has a natural talent for finding space and creating goal-scoring opportunities, even against more experienced opponents. Yamal's career statistics at the time of writing show that he has scored 7 goals in 54 games, an average of 12 goals per 100 games. So, as Rodrigo has a certainly superior performance, points to him. Both young players are very prominent in their careers, but which of them has more significant achievements? Lamin Yamal, for example, has already contributed a lot to his team's winning important titles, such as La Liga 2022-23 and UEFA European Championship 2024. Individually, the Spaniard has already received honors as the most promising young player, such as Golden Boy 2023, UEFA European Championship Young Player of the Tournament, among others. Rodrigo, on the other hand, has already won important awards for Real Madrid, such as a UEFA Super Cup, a Champions League, and a FIFA Club World Cup. As an individual, he has won MVP of the Copa del Rey final and has been voted the best young player in the world, among other awards. As Rodrigo has a stronger track record due to his major international honors, points to him. Despite being young boys, both players are established names in world football, but which of them is the most in demand and valuable? Rodrigo, for example, is considered one of the most promising of football's new generation. His most expensive transfer was in 2019, when he left Santos for Real Madrid for around 45 million euros. As for his salary, some sources estimate that he has a contract that guarantees him a salary of almost 8 million euros per season. Lamin Yamal, on the other hand, has spent most of his career playing for Barcelona, and his current market value is estimated at 120 million euros. 
As for his annual salary, it's estimated that the youngster receives around 2 million euros. As Rodrigo is a more established player with a higher salary, points to him. At the end of this battle, we had 3 points for Lamin Yamal against 7 points for Rodrigo, making him the winner. But if you think there are still other arguments to defend one of the two, write your best justification below.